Welcome back to Healthy Living. I'm your host, Melissa Hodgson, and our show is brought to you by St. Tammany Health System. We're talking today about some of the exceptional specialty level cancer uh, services available in Covington as a result of St. Tammany Health System and our commitment to our community and our partner, Auctioner Health. We talked first with Kelly Krim, who's a specialty nurse practitioner in our women's pavilion at a, a new breast health clinic that has opened on Highway 190. Kelly talked with us about hereditary aspects of cancer and about breast health. Next, we'll talk with Dr. Richard Casey. Dr. Casey is a pulmonologist and he's part of North Lakes Pulmonary Associates. This group is the uh, internal intensive care specialists at St. Tammany Health System and they are the local uh, specialists in a special area of lung exploration called endobronchial ultrasound. So Dr. Casey, welcome. Thank you, thank you for so having glad me. glad you're here and I've been practicing endobronchial That's ultrasound. That's right. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about exactly what that is. Sure, uh, I'm glad to. Uh, for years, pulmonologists have done bronchoscopy, which is a procedure where we perform biopsies or interventions within the lung. And the, the bronchoscope is what we use, and it's a flexible lighted scope that we pass into the airways of a patient when they're sedated. So endobronchial ultrasound is a new technology that's become available that we have uh, partnered with uh, that provides an ability to sample uh, masses and lymph nodes within the lungs of patients. Wow. So typically, I think most people know about lung masses and uh, concerns for cancer in, in people's lungs. Uh, what most people don't know about is that we all have lymph nodes inside of our chest, and lymph nodes are outside the airways, and they can get enlarged. And as a pulmonologist, if we see a patient with an enlarged lymph node, our concern is, is it cancer or is it a benign condition? So what endobronchial ultrasound is, is a technology we can actually sample these lymph nodes uh, in a minimally invasive technique. In Fantastic. other words, no surgery is uh, required. So I actually have, oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, I think you, you have an image you can show us. Yes, yes, so I have about. an image just, just to show you what, what we're looking at. So the first image is just a, a diagram of the chest, uh, and it shows the large airways and the little jelly beans, the colored jelly beans are lymph nodes that people normally have, and they're normally five millimeters or less. So these are the lymph nodes that we're talking about that endobronchial ultrasound uh, uh, makes us capable of uh, sampling. So without the endobronchial ultrasound, you wouldn't necessarily be able to have a look at those lymph nodes in the same way. Correct. I mean, we have CAT scans that can do it, but to actually go in and sample them, that's the difference that endobronchial ultrasound makes, the ability to sample okay. these lymph nodes. So the next image that we have is a diagram of the windpipe, and what it's showing on the right side is an enlarged lymph node and the bronchoscope, the endobronchial ultrasound scope, is that black device and has an, a channel where we pass a needle through it. So with the ultrasound, we can see exactly where the lymph node is, what size it is, and we can direct the needle uh, straight into the, the lymph node for sampling. Outstanding, so in this case, this is really the beauty of endobronchial ultrasound as opposed to some of the more invasive ways that you might go about trying to get that information if we didn't have this technology and you didn't have this talent. Correct. I mean, we, we consider this a minimally invasive procedure. It's not truly a surgery or an operation. And the, the samples we obtain are just fine needle aspirates, like cells. It's not a true biopsy where you get a chunk of tissue. But with the technology we have now at St. Tammany Parish Hospital, we can get an accurate diagnosis of cancer just with cells from, from this needle. That is fascinating. So. Um, there's no cutting, there's no surgery. This is this Correct. procedure where we're gonna Correct. go down the windpipe, basically. Correct. If we're taking it down to Melissa's medical yes, language, exactly. the windpipe. <laughs> yes, down the and, windpipe. And yes. that's um, the bronchoscope. Bronchoscope, right. And the, and the patients always ask, you know, what does this involve, what is the procedure like? It's an outpatient procedure. We do this under general anesthesia because we want the patient as still as possible. Uh, there's really no pain involved either. Uh, and we do it right here at St. Tammany uh, at the Covenant Surgical Center. It's an outpatient stay, so you come in in the morning, you go home several hours after that. 
Outstanding. And I think you had one more image that showed yes. the it actual show what ultrasound image, Just right? if you want to see what, what the pulmonologist sees, this is an image of uh, the endobronchial ultrasound. And the top area, basically the point at 12 o'clock, is where the, the scope is looking from. And below that, you see that diagonal line coming in. That's the needle that we have. And so the beauty of this is we see the lymph node in real time. We watch the needle go in in real time so we wow. can assure ourselves that we're getting into the lesion itself. So there's no guesswork involved. And then after we obtain the sample, we actually have a cytopathologist or cytotechnologist who's there who will stain the slides and make sure we have adequate specimens. And if we don't have adequate specimens, we keep trying. So that's, that's the beauty fantastic. of it. That's fantastic. So your patient isn't going to have to come back. You're not going to have to call a patient and say, um, you know, we've looked at it and we didn't get enough information. We need you right. back. It's very unlikely. It's very oh, unlikely. Fantastic. And so I'm so happy to have this technology and the availability here. Pathology at the hospital is great. They're on board with our program as well. So it really makes a difference. Well, not everybody needs this, and not everybody's going to have to come in and have this. Correct. So can you talk a little bit about uh, what types of conditions or, or patients that uh, we would be talking about experiencing something uh, that would need EBUS? Sure. Uh, in general, it's somebody who has enlarged lymph nodes within their chest. But it's also for people who have lung masses, and the majority of those are lung cancer. But there are actually some benign conditions that we can diagnose as well. And so if we see somebody who has a lung mass or may have enlarged lymph nodes, we will essentially do everything at once. We'll attempt to biopsy the lung mass itself, but we'll also do what's called staging of the lymph nodes, which is a part of evaluating a cancer. What we're doing is seeing if the cancer has spread to lymph nodes, because that changes someone's prognosis and it changes the treatment options based on the stage of cancer. Okay, and all of that can be figured out um, together. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, all right, so for a patient to know that they have these enlarged lymph nodes, that's not something we're going to figure out. Like Kelly and I were talking about the responsibility we as women have to kind There's of have no an awareness. But I was going to say, you chest. can't check There's out no your own lymph nodes, right? right. So, <laughs> so uh, men and women uh, certainly are at risk for plenty of these different lung diseases and conditions. Correct. So. Um, this is maybe one of the reasons we should be going once a year to see our primary care. Correct. Um, we should have some awareness of how we're breathing and, and how our uh, chest cavity feels mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Um, and then those basic risk factors may be what a primary care physician would see and have some concerns and talk to us about and then refer us to someone like you or one of Correct. your partners. Correct, yes. Okay. Yes. And then you guys would be the ones who would check out our lymph nodes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. exactly. Yes. Okay. Well, I realize that this is pretty groundbreaking stuff, and not every system has it. And, and we're fortunate that we have your practice and the equipment um, and the pathologists and everybody who's a part of this system. Mm -hmm. But it's also not brand new at St. Tammany, is it? No. Actually, we're celebrating our sixth anniversary of our program here. Uh, my partner, Dr. Ricardo Blanco, brought this in to, into the hospital. He actually got training from Cleveland Clinic, and one of their pulmonologists came down and uh, assisted in, in us initiating the program. And so this is our sixth year now, and we we're just happy as can be with it. Fantastic. Um, and I guess, you know, we throw around words like cutting edge and groundbreaking and game changer in medicine, but EBUS really is a game changer. It is, and I tell people I rarely use that word, a game changer, but it truly is. The reason it's a game changer is before we had EBUS, when we would have enlarged lymph nodes, uh, to get an answer involves a surgical biopsy, which is a true surgical incision. It's more invasive. You know, it can have complications. You know, uh, so, so that's something we try to avoid. Uh, there are also areas that surgical biopsies are much more difficult and it's a larger surgery. So to me, to go from potentially needing a surgery just for a diagnosis to having essentially a procedure that takes maybe one hour and you go home the same day with minimal risk, to me that's a game changer. Absolutely, that is really exciting. Mm -hmm. um, and the idea that Dr. Blanco looked at this years ago and said, you know what, we need this. We need this at St. Tammany. Yes, and he, he took the initiative. The and administration was receptive. Like I said, pathology is on board, you know, radiology. We have a multidisciplinary team. We have you know, hematology, oncology, radiation oncology. It's, it's wonderful. 
um, and that multidisciplinary team, as Kelly and I talked about in the first part of the show, that really is its own kind of game changer. It is. Um, it is. When you follow that model, uh, the pulmonologist isn't working alone, and the radiologist right. isn't working alone. We're a team. Everybody's working together, focused together on that case, uh -huh. talking about the different disciplines and what everybody brings to the table in the fight. Exactly. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, well, Dr. Casey, this has been really fascinating and educational. I appreciate you coming to our show. My pleasure. Um, and, you know, keep up that great work on the intensive care <laughs> unit you. at St. Tammany Health System. Um, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. You've been watching Healthy Living, brought to you by St. Tammany Health System. We've been talking today about specialty levels of cancer care available in Covington. Join us next time for Healthy Living.